Well, today <clears throat> is May the 15th. Just trying a little bit of a uh, curia fishing here on an undisclosed location in Pennsylvania. If you ever watch regular car reviews, you can kind of figure out where it is. Kind of a mountainous region. If you can name that highway just from here, props to you, buddy. But, uh, no, I'm fishing with my 6.5 meter Japanese Kiri rod. It's like a mainstream rod. Pretty pretty. Everything's in Japanese. Of course, made in China. I do have a Kiri rod that's made in Japan, so don't worry, I'm not cheap. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I consider this mainstream Aniru, Aniru, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't read kanji, okay? But, uh, yeah, let's, let's just show you what the lake. Oh, oh yeah, white water. Let's see, we'll do how good we do today. With this setup, I can really get really, really good drifts through a lot of the slow water. Like, if you look behind that rock, there's actually a slot of slow water there. I can really, really get a good drift through here. Yeah, while researching this stuff, it's like, I had to translate everything through Google Translate and Google, like, Google's Translate they do for their own web pages. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> ever since I went to that web page, Google's homepage now recommends full-on Japanese fishing on their recommended pages to visit. It's like, oh man. It's like, I don't speak kanji. Or, yeah, I don't speak Japanese. I don't read kanji. Now Google's like, dude, look, look at this, man. It's freaking awesome. It's like, oh, okay, I guess. There's always the loss in translation stuff, but... <laughs> and YouTube's now like, hey, do you want to watch uh, some 2D animated girls play video games? Uh... I guess, Gura, she's pretty funny, but uh, anyway, I'm not a weeb, I don't generally watch anime at all, actually, I only knew one girl who actually really watched anime, but I ain't into that stuff, so, it's just fun fish techniques, okay, I'm not addicted to 2D girls. Yeah, so here's the setup. Like I said, it's 21 feet. I have... Yeah. I'm, it's live bait fishing. If you know what Tenkar is, it's fly fishing pretty much with a fixed line. No, curing fishing is live bait fishing. So, all I'm using is one split shot in here. This hook length, they call it in the UK, is three and a half pound test. There's changeover to four pound test. And you got these little yarn markers tied on. And I have four of them, just alternating colors. Trademark Jared. Trademark colors for Jared. Nobody else can use them. <laughs> but uh, no, that goes up to four pound test all the way up to the tip top. And I just have a cider line in case there's a bunch of glare. Same thing, four pound test. And it's fixed to the rod tip. This one's got a swivel on it. That's a micro swivel on that, but as you can see, all of this is tied to the tip top. So really fun method of fishing though, so that's the setup, 21 feet long, so it goes a long way. Man, now I really want the 30 footers. Someday. Alright. Today I'm in Eastern Pennsylvania. Mainstream fishing, they call it in Japan. Aniru, but there's the 6.5 again. And I caught two out of this run already. There's a nice slick area right in the middle here. There was another one. Oh. 
It's so fun to be able to actually feel the hits instead of guessing. Like with high sticking a nymph. Whoever came up with that idea is annoying. It forces people to be right on top of them. That's fish. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you bugger. Ay, ay, ay. Yep. That's how you know it's a fish versus a rock. There ain't no worm left. <laughs> Shit. Only thing I don't like about using worms is the grit. It can get stuck between the joints and the rod. It causes it to uh, scratch the finish, which is not very fun. Bam, just like that. Spread them all. Come on, you booger. Let's have a go at it. There you are. Come on. Man, he's biting really, really light. Wow. Worms destroyed. Must be a nice one. Look at that. Worms got teeth marks all over. Look at that. It's freaking... That trout's got some serious teeth on him. He's in there. He's tearing up my worms. Biting super, super light. Gonna get you. I know exactly where you are, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, he's biting super, super light. Look at that. Gonna use up all my worms in one spot. Look at that. Gone. Really? All right, do this again. My rig. Nope. Yeah, you little. Oh, are you the one with my rig? No. Nope. Barbless hooks, that's why I like barbless hooks. Little rainbow. Nice. Oh, that one that broke my rig off probably is done for the day or something. Oh, a little one. That one almost looks wild. Oops. <laughs> that one almost looks wild. Except he's got a busted chin. They're so lively in here. It's... Ah, come on, you. Barbless hook. Quick and easy. There's an upstream take. <laughs> that was an upstreamer. That's one. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> little steelhead. You ain't a steelhead, little man. You're not a steelhead. Sure fight like them though. Nice easy release. Now this would be a really nice time for fly fishing, except the cricks are high, so. I don't like messing around with fly rods when it's super high. But you could do Tenkara. It's like, no, Tenkara is for shallow streams. Anything here in Pennsylvania requires depth. <laughs> A lot of the main streams here required depth. So, fishing split shot on a fly rod is no good for me. I, I hate it. It doesn't feel right. And plus, I don't feel like losing $10 worth of flies in a single trip. So, to Euro nymphing, it's like, no, sorry. That's that's too ridiculous for me. Let's see, trout. Done yet? <laughs> Done yet, buddy. Man, it has so much energy here. Come on, come on. <laughs> Fine, you want to be that way? Here you go little bugger. So much energy. Wrapped yourself up, of course. Your hook come out. Good. There you go, little dude. Go away. Ah, look at that predicament, jeez. We're still here. And that's, what, four or five fish in already? I mean, five fish ain't bad for one spot, so. All right, I have to move down finally. Five fish in one spot ain't bad, so. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cross here today. It's pretty, pretty substantial water in here. Then again, ugh, the guys in Japan are up into their chests in this kind of water, so I can do it. Oi, baby. Where that rock is out there, that's a pretty good spot. I don't know how I'm gonna fight him with this tree in here, but see what happens. Don't be a 20 incher in there. Oh yeah, every rock wants to give away today. Too extended. That's running the 30 footer. Oh, yeah, this is going to be. I think almost impossible to cross today with how slippery the rocks are. Oh 
There was one in the fast water. Fast water fish. I love it. Oh, there was another one in there. Look at that. Super quick hit. No worm. And it. There's another one in there. I feel I need a real tiny one. Okay. Oh, there's small one. These midges will not leave me alone today. Man. Ready to come up yet? Oh, yeah. Here in this creek. Oh. There you are. Oh, yeah. Nice size one. About 12 inches. Barbless hook. Love it. Back your door, ya boga. There you go. Nice. Nice. Take little baby steps out. <laughs> Oh yeah, the one that was supposed to be my anchor foot just rotated 180 degrees, or maybe 40. <laughs> I would have broke my ankle if it rotated that much. Literally every single rock wants to give away. Slimy rocks. <laughs> This is where you need heavy felt or cleats, but I don't use felt anymore just because I don't like the non-traction on wet ride or land terrain, but it's wet. Oh, look, there's a fish right there. No, it's a lot. Man, I just dropped oh, my entire foot. All right. But I can't get my foot anywhere else here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cross today.
pretty cool that <laughs> you can get fixed rods in Japan that are 30 feet freaking long. It's <laughs> well, I would love that here, but Daiwa Japan doesn't ship stuff to the United States, so I'm stuck ordering stuff off eBay. Kind of sucks. But Gotta get my fix on <laughs> Oh yeah. Isn't that a nicer one? Man, there's so many fish in here. <laughs> I love it, boy. Now, to get over all these. Oh. Wow, wow, wee wee. Wow. To get through this fast current water, so I don't have to get stuck in these branches in front of me. Oh. <laughs> Hold him, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything for fishing. Oh yeah, nicer one. Getting that slow stuff. Ooh <laughs> That's a nice shape one. Nice and splashy, mate. Get on up here, you little bugger. Don't go do too far down. Well, this is going to be tough. As soon as I get them upstream of me. Oh, down, down. There we go. Oh, they're strong in here. Oh, knock it off, you bulga. You know, we little bulga. Thank you, fish. Nice fight. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, wait. Look at him go. <laughs> Come on, you little bulga. All right, let me unhook him for you. All right. Try again in there. Yeah. super close this time there's a big rock right there got a lift drop down that's a rock Whoop. comes out I love that I love that it just pops out I think that's it for this little run. I wish I could cross, because cross over there. Up over there is a very, very nice hole. But I'll see if I can get somewhere downstream later. Not sure. Here's a really unassuming drift. It's like literally, I can pretty much, I can touch that little swirl behind this rock here. There's two rocks actually there, but there's a lot of slack water over there. See if we can get one out of here, even though it's only about <clears throat> a rod lengths away. Very unassuming spot. Bottom. Bottom. <clears throat> Well, maybe not. I 
I want it to move a little bit. There we go. Maybe not. Keep moving down this oh, crazy, slippery, rock-infested creek. That's also what's nice about a 21 feet rod is that if you get stuck on the bottom, you just... What happens when a hook gets stuck on the bottom is it gets stuck on the upstream side. So all you have to do is swing the rod upstream and it usually pops out because you're straight on top of it. And the pressure just pops it out. I'm, I hardly lose hooks this way. I do eventually, but... Generally speaking, this is a really easy way not to lose a lot of gear. Keep trying up here. Most of these fish are stockers from up there. Uh, there's a restaurant up there, but they start stocking them at the restaurant down. Upstream, there's a lot of wild fish in this particular river. It's very healthy. And I can't cross. There's no way I'm going to be able to cross today. There's a lot of holes to fish over here. But I would have really liked to fish over there. The only way I'm going to cross is if I go way, way upstream, about two miles. And I'm not walking two miles to cross a creek, so... Oh, there we go. Ought to be one in here. Too nice of a run not to be one in here. Even just a wild one. Keep all moving. Can't believe there wasn't one in this hole. This is so nice in here. Ought to be at least one. I was about to say, there ought to be one in here. <laughs> wow. All right, so there was one in here. Ain't too bad. Come on. Stop splashing on top, mate. Now I got all these trees above me. Nice rainbow. Oh. I wish you could see the bend in the rod. It's all the way. It's about... This rod bends softly for about halfway to the tip top. Oh. There goes a rock. I just slid about three feet. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh. I was about to say, I would be one in there. For the booger, let me unhook them for you. It's about seven today, I think. Seven or eight. Little dude. Hey, ain't too little. Whoop. In you go. Whoop. Down suit. And of course, my worm fell off. Look at that. Perfect. All right, let's see if there's one more in there. Yep, there was. <laughs> oh, I lost him. Jeez, oh man. How can there be so many fish in one little spot here? Literally, it's 10 feet out. There goes a the deer. Oh, yeah, yeah, boogies. Back to fishing. Why they're up against the railroad, I don't know. 
So you have the whole mountain to go up the damn beard. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> there's so many in this. Man. Come on. Oh, I had a nice one. Ooh, head shakes. <laughs> Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down and knock. Come on for sheep. Nat trying to crawl in my ear. Get out of here. All right. When are you coming up, ya boga? Well, man, he's really digging in. That ain't too bad a one. Wow. If I can get him upstream of me and bring him back down, we'll be golden, might. Oh, nope. He saw me. Head shakes. <laughs> wow. Right back out. Wow. I don't know if you can see the markers, but oh man. Try to get him. Come on, you boy guy. He's just digging in. Wow. I'm afraid if he pops off, he'll send my rod into the trees behind me. Ugh. Come on, you. Get out. Wow. Yep. What a powerful fish. Bright red. Bright, bright red. Wow. Oh yeah, that one does not look like a stalker, but a leftover from last year. Man, oh man, look at the red on it. Super bright red. I think that one's a leftover. Or it could be wild. That's some hooker. Nice fish. Beautiful. Super long side fins? I forget what you call them, but let's unhook them. Oh, man. Okay, is there going to be a, a third one in here? And I had to walk out into the stream. Let's see. Probably not. Collapse this a bit. Yeah, I had to walk out here in order to get that last piece, but... There is another one, literally right on top of me. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. I love fishing fast water. Where are you going? Hmm? Doesn't feel like a super big one, but... It ain't too shabby. Another one nice one. Okay, that's three fish out of this hole. And I'm almost on top of them here. Oh, I got branches behind me. Come on. Maybe it is the same one. <laughs> yeah, it is the same one. You son of a gun. Look at you. Same one. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Hungry fish. Jeez. Uh-oh. Maybe not all right. There we go. It's like I almost don't want to hook this fish again. <laughs> it's not very often you catch the same fish twice. I watch for these branches there. Literally right on top of me. Branches. Oh, you moving down. Da 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 da
Spin, worm, spin. Man, midges are getting bad. Ay, ay, ay. There was one. Oh. I don't even know if I have a worm left. Very little. No, you're in there, you bugger. That's a little tiny one. Wow, he grabbed it and let go right away. Jeez. Oh yeah. Unless it's a big one and it's quite smart. Man, these midges are just all over me. Ah. Wow. Get out of here. Hmm. Maybe only wants a whole worm. Okay, let's see if a full worm works for this little guy. Unless it's a really nice one and it's just smart. Let's see. Oh. There he is. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and he's off. Darn. Alright, full worm. Take two. Wow. Nothing off. It's a bit suspicious. Try close. Ugh. There's one. <laughs> That's a nicer one too. Oh no, he's gonna go way down. Probably gonna lose him. Stay in that spot, stay in that spot, good. I gotta work my way down in the slippery rocks. Oh. Yeah, stay in the slow stuff, man. Nope. He's going down. <laughs> Probably ain't gonna get him. Nope. Oh, perfect. Oh. Well, I got my hook back. That was a nice fish. <laughs> All right. So there was one in there. They're just being super picky. I don't think I'm gonna get him again. But yeah, I am not chasing a fish in this white water. Surprised the kayakers aren't out today. When every rock is about a foot in diameter and it slides, I'm not chasing a fish. I'm gonna point the rod right at him and hopefully he breaks off. Oh, I know he'll break off. White water, who are you? No nope, rocks. Keep moving. Oh yeah, there's some white water. Got to be one in there. I see a really deep trough in there. Oh. Literally every single rock wants to take you on a wild ride. 
I don't like being super extended in this fast water, so I want to be perpendicular to the current here. I try not to extend too far downstream because that's what happened with that last fish. Are they all going to be that picky? Wow. Maybe. Wow. Gain and worm. Oh yeah, this is really deep in here now. Four minutes of recording time. Oh sh nah. <laughs> cool. That's one. Oh yeah. Looks like a wild brownie. He ain't too big. Oh, coming in nice. Wild brownie. They don't stock them that small here. Little dude. Little bitty dude. So I don't feel like having you break my hook, so you're going in. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> All right, got to unhook him. Little wild one. That's how you tell a wild one is how nice their fins are. Look at that. Nice and clean. All right, let's get him unhooked. One last one before the battery dies. <laughs> last one before the battery dies. That's like over 10 in about a couple hours, so really nice. Nice, lovely day. See you. Well, that's the end of the... Uh, the SD card and the GoPros batteries, both of them close to running out, but anyway, GoPros out of, out of memory. More SD card next time so I can uh, actually fish for four hours. <laughs> but uh, now, yeah, what a fantastic day. I, I just, this kind of fishing is really, really fun. Direct presentation, you get to feel everything, every little tiny rock on the bottom. Fish, especially, it's just a whoomp, 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 and it's perfect. I do a lot of spinning rod fishing with worms. It's actually how I started off. It was probably ever since I could remember. <laughs> We'd always go to first day of trout in Pennsylvania. Spinning rod, spinning rod, spinning rod. My dad, my grandfather, my great-grandfather were all worm fishermen with a spinning rod. I, for some reason, got a Christmas present from my grandfather. When I was about 10, it was a fly fishing kit. I don't know, it's just, that's how I grew to like different kinds of techniques. So fly fishing went, or spinning rods went to fly fishing, and then fly fishing went to traditional fly fishing, and now traditional fly fishing is going to Japanese techniques, so yeah, that's a whole lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to pack it out, and... Hopefully, see you next time I go fishing.